Hello, 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 and welcome to Deals, Deals, and Bundles. I'm Sir Jaxie, and I'll be your host for today's episode. Welcome to our inaugural episode of Deals, Deals, and Bundles. What this segment is going to be all about is me just basically talking about the new bundles that are coming out at any given time, any special deals or sales going on on Steam or good old games or any other place. And just basically, you know, I'll let you know what I think of the bundle. I'll tell you if I'm going to buy it or if I'm not going to buy it and why, either way. And so... Without further ado, 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 let us take a jump right into the Humble Weekly Sale, Nordic Games. This is going to be our first one that we're going to take a look at, and it actually just launched yesterday on I'm sorry, October 3rd, and first off, let me get right out of the way, yes, I did purchase this one. Um, it, to me, is basically a no-brainer. I paid the $6 or more to get the four more games. Right now, I basically paid $6 to get eight games. Uh, eight pretty good games at that. Uh, let's take a quick look at some of these. I can't tell you a lot about them because I haven't played them, which is a big selling point for why I bought the bundle. Uh, the first one is Red Faction Armageddon, and this is basically an action game, and all of these games except for one are on Steam. So, this is basically an action game, and, you know, it looked to me to be pretty interesting. It's a little bit of an older game, came out back in 2011, but that ain't too, too bad. Um, next one on the list here was Supreme Commander. Did I do these? Yeah, I did these right. Okay. So, Supreme Commander is strictly a strategy game. Now, I'm just getting back into strategy games. I used to play strategy games a lot. Um, I used to play uh, Warcraft a lot back when it was a strategy game. Not World of Warcraft, but Warcraft. I played all three of the Warcraft games. I really enjoyed them. So, I'm looking to get back into some more strategy games. And I'm probably going to be doing, if nothing else, at least a first look on all of these games. The third one you get, for any price, you can pay a dollar and you get the the first four here, um, is Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. And there again, that's a strategy game. Uh, still a little bit older, a little bit newer than Supreme Commander. Uh, but it is a standalone two... Uh, Supreme Commander. It goes, you know, hand in hand with it. It's not an expansion, though. So, I'm looking forward to that one, too. Now, the fourth one you get for any price is the Guild 2. Now, I did play the Guild, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they've improved in 2. This is, a, again, a strategy game. A um, little bit more little bit more simulation mixed into it as well, but it is pretty much what it is. That's a strategy game. Uh, it's a pretty good one if it lives up to what the guild was. So, again, I'm looking forward to that. Um, so, the next one you get, and you actually get this one as well it, for any price. Pay a dollar, you get five games. Actually, I take it back. There was nine. There's nine games right now in the bundle. Is Neighbors from Hell compilation? Now you don't get it through GOG. You good old games. You actually get a download link directly from Humble Bundle. But I want to show you, you know, what it looks like. I haven't played this game. I heard of it a while ago. Um, it is an older game. It's been out since 2004, so it's been out there for a while. Um, not sure if I'm going to play it or not, to be honest, but I have downloaded it. You get both uh, the original Neighbors from Hell as well as the sequel, uh, which is Neighbors from Hell 2 on Vacation. You get the manuals for both games. Uh, you get a couple of readme files on how to install them and all of that. 
And, you know, all in all, you get the full package of the game. Now, the last four here you have to pay over $6 for. But let me say they're well worth the $6 for just these four alone. You get Painkiller, Hell and Damnation. Now, I have not played this edition of Painkiller yet. I have played Painkiller Black Edition. And I enjoyed that tremendously, and everything I've been told and I've read and heard says that Painkiller Hell and Damnation is even better than Black Edition. So I'm really looking forward to taking and playing this. Uh, it's been on my uh, wish list for a little while now. I've been looking to possibly pick it up. And now I have, and it's got, instead of paying $20 for it, I paid 6 I got, you know eight other games for <laughs> along with it. Next one is Arcania. And this again, it's an older game. It came out back in 2010. Basically what this is, is it's actually, um, if you look, where does it say? It doesn't say here. Oh, down here in the reviews, it, it calls it Arcania Gothic 4. Because it's basically a continuation in the uh, very well laid out, very well put together gothic series, um, I guess along the way, which I played gothic 1, 2, and 3, I never realized that they had actually put out a gothic 4 and just changed the name of the game to Arcania. So this one I'm really, again, looking forward to. It is an RPG, which is one of my favorite genres, and I'm just... I'm really excited to take a, you know, take a look at this one. And then the third one for the minimum price of $6 is Spellforce 2, Faith in Destiny. Now this is a strategy RPG combination game. Again, I played Spellforce. I enjoyed it. I played it ages ago. Um, this game, this Spellforce 2 actually just came out on, you know, last year. I'm not exactly sure if that's when it came out or if that was when it came out to Steam. Steam has a funny way of doing things. They'll put release dates and it will be for games that you know are at least three, four, five years older than what the release date is because they tend to put for the release date the date that was released on Steam, not the actual game release date. They've been getting a lot better, though. I've noticed a lot of the other games, like, well, Gothic, for that matter, they actually put the actual release date of the game up when they picked it up on Steam. And that last one in the series of four games you get for paying over $6, or $6 and over, is Darksiders 2. Now, I don't think I have to say too much about this. There's tons of videos on it. Um, Darksiders 2 is a action-adventure RPG all rolled into one. I have not played it yet. I am really looking forward to playing it. Yes, you can see that right. This is a $50 game. And you get it for the price of $6.00 at eight other games for free. So, like I said, the Humble Bundle to me was pretty much a no-brainer given the fact that I don't have any of these games. Now, in future episodes, we will be going over a lot of other games. Um, I do take and reference a lot of times, I'll take and check our regular basis this year list. It is put out by Indie Kings. I will put a link to it down below in uh, the description. If you're looking for any type of bundles or deals or anything, this is a great resource point. It takes it does it, it not only gives you you know links to the humble bundle weekly, humble weekly they call it not bundle, sorry. It gives you links to things that are going on on Amazon, like right now uh, XCOM Classic bundles on amazon.com is only 375 and you take a in which you take and get the XCOM classic pack which includes XCOM Ap 
Apocalypse, Enforcer, Interceptor, Terror from the Deep, and UFO Defense. So you get five games for only three seventy five. And if we look down here, we could actually see that there's some other things going on. There's an XCOM collection. And basically, you get all of those games. And you will also take and receive the new XCOM Enemy Unknown. And that will also include the Slingshot Pack and the Elite Soldier Pack for only, you know, about $6 more. For $9.99, you get XCOM Enemy Unknown with the Slingshot Pack, the Elite Soldier Pack. You get XCOM Apocalypse, XCOM Enforcer, XCOM Interceptor, XCOM Terror from the Deep, and XCOM UFO Defense. So that's, you know, one heck of a deal for 10 bucks. If you like XCOM games and you haven't picked them up yet, this might be a good way to take and put them up, and I'll put that link in the description below as well. So, as you can see, the Indie Kings Bundle page is a very good area to go to. I check it almost daily. In fact, I picked up a really good Bi Bioshock pack just the other day, which included Bioshock and Bioshock 2 for, I think it was like under $10. It was a really good deal. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of our new segment, Deals, Seals, and Bundles. Should I keep doing them? I will do first looks on all of these games. If you like it, give me a like and a thumbs up below. Leave a comment where you find your best deals at if you want to share with the community. And let us know what you think of this new segment. Other than that, this is Sir Jaxie. Fade